hey everyone welcome to my channel today i'm going to give you guys a quick tutorial on how you can fix this whole issue that all of us have been having and that has been frustrating all of us with not being able to play the sims 4 you may be getting an error message that says that the legitimate the cracked version of the game doesn't match the legitimate version of the game so this tutorial is specifically going to focus on how you fix that issue um because i know we're all getting irritated so yeah, I'm going to run you guys quickly as how to fix that. This is not going to be how to download packs. If you guys want a video on that, I can do that. But the downloading of the packs is really simple. It's making the game actually playable because Anadius gave up on us. But we're not mad at Anadius. We're not. So first things first, you're, gonna wait, you want, you're going to want to make sure that you have the EA app downloaded. Um, you probably already have it downloaded. But it's really important that you have the EA app specifically, not Steam or, or Origin or anything else. Make sure you have the, the EA app. Just go to eaapp.com and then uh, from there, you're going to have this and then just pick for Windows or Mac, whatever it is that you have. Make sure you go and you do that, okay? Second of all, right, after you do that, you're going to want to go to the first link in the description box. Yes, so you're going to click the first link um, in the description box. It's going to take you to here, the EA DLC unlocker. Make sure you download it. Specifically important that you have the V2. Download it and then you're able to move from there. We're going to move to opening up this DLC unlocker. So I'm just going to go to my downloads and get that open for you guys. We're gonna... DLC unlocker. There we go. Okay. You can open up the DLC unlocker folder. Right. Then what you're going to do is you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom to where you see setup.bat all right you're gonna right click on that or left click on that sorry you can have this now listen to exactly what i'm saying if you already had this dlc unlocker it'll say something like ea app detected dlc unlocker installed game configs installed the sims 4 if you already had it if you did not have it it'll say this okay if you didn't have it, just stick with me. Those of you who have it installed, you're going to want to uninstall it because we need to start afresh. So press the number five, hit enter. Um, a Windows access control thing is going to pop up. You're going to say yes. Okay, it's going to uninstall it. Now it's going to say something EA app detected, DLC unlocker not installed. Make sure also on the EA app, I'm going to open up the EA app for you guys real quick. Make sure on the EA app that you add the sims 4 as a game or oh, it's already added um yeah i'm pretty sure like if you're here you probably already have the app so make sure that you have the app um added as a game already and we're just waiting for it to load yes and then under installed games it should it should say something like this and it should look like this so it'll detect if you have the ea app you have detected DLC unlocker not installed. Now all you need to do is just install the, DL the DLC unlocker. Sorry, you're gonna press one. You're gonna hit enter. Another access control things gonna come up. You're gonna press yes. It's gonna install. Now it's gonna say game configs installed none, meaning it doesn't. You know, there's no Sims 4 under this thing, under the game configs. Sorry. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna press two, and then you're gonna press number 21 to add the Sims 4 as a game config. And then what it's going to do is that it's going to update that for you. And that's pretty much all you have to do. Like literally your game is going to be updated now and it's going to be playable. Then you're going to want to hit Q. You're going to hit enter to quit. You're going to want to head over to the EA app. I'm going to open that up again. Um, let me just close my tabs. It's very simple, very straightforward, guys. Um go here and you're going to want to launch your game from here it's really important that you launch the game from the ea app nowhere else because it's not going to work until somebody comes and saves us again and then installing the packs you're going to have to do that manually now which is really easy you just drag one folder to another like it's not that hard Alright guys, sorry, it took a while to load up, but uh, as you can see, the game is working. Um, and then you're going to want to just click on, obviously I'm going to resume my game just to show you guys that everything should be working. 
Alrighty, guys, my game is functioning. Um, everything seems to be working. My cheats are working. My mod, sorry. Oh, she's feeling a little bit dizzy. What's going? What's wrong with you, girl? Um. Oh, from the drinks. Why is her period? Okay, but anyways, I think the game is functioning perfectly fine. Girl, go take a nap or something, because I don't know what's wrong with you. But yeah, the game is functioning perfectly fine. Um, these are my two married couple. And yeah, everything is going great. Okay, I'm happy. And yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope the tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions, do not be afraid to leave them in the comments below. I'm going to answer every single one of them. I don't know why all of my sims are sick. But yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.